but let me just quickly just tell everyone with down so everyone knows oh, yeah, moving yeah, yeah, forward. Yeah. So I'm playing hole 15, the par five. You're playing up the golf like uh, tee boxes, and then you go into like kind of the wooded area in between holes. So in a golf course, you would never step foot in that. You're actually just driving around the cart path. You would never go into it, right? So I am a hundred feet away from the basket. It's directly uphill, probably actually more steep than any other of the hills that we play on all week. Uh, Gavin is right next to me. He goes first. He throws his shot up there, lands, boom. I go second. I do the exact same thing. Throw my shot up there. It hits a root, hits a rock, hits something, turns up, starts rolling, rolls past me, rolls another hundred feet down the hill. OB. Okay. So, uh, I was playing with, um, who was I playing with? Uh, shoot. I'm trying to remember. Hold on. One second, one second, one second. Stall, Yuli, stall. Clayton. I was playing with Clayton. Uh, sorry. I was playing with Clayton. Super nice guy. He actually like ran down the hill because I was like, hey, did that go B? Because I can just rethrow. I don't have to go all the way down 200 feet to throw again. He's like, yeah, it did. So I proceed to grab. Uh, he gives me the get freaky that I threw. So I proceed to throw the same shot up there basically. But this time I threw with a different disc. Cause I was like, I don't want to risk it again. Bad karma, whatever, you know, superstitious. This one rolled down. Let me throw a different one up there. As I go to walk to my cart, which is four feet away from me. And mind you, I'm in the middle of the fairway. I haven't left the middle of the fairway. I'm in the middle of the fairway, hundred feet from the basket. All of a sudden I feel like someone just took a six inch needle into my left calf. And I'm like, what the heck is that? And I look down and there's a yellow jacket on my calf. So what is anyone's first instinct? Get this thing off my calf. So I take the get freaky and I just yeet this thing, right? (laughs) Within two seconds, I have probably seven, eight, nine, ten yellow jackets all over my legs. And they're just going ham. Now, for those that don't know anything about yellow jackets, yellow jackets, when they sting you, they don't lose their stinger. So they can just keep going ham. They, they, pepper, can, yeah. they can just go to town, right? Now, I would have been fine, but... For some, I don't know how it happened, but I think maybe I hit one and didn't kill it and it flung up. I got like two or three stings and I can still actually feel some of the, uh, where they got me right here on the back. You can kind of see it's still a little red. Um, They got me right in the right tricep. And for those that don't know, I'm highly, highly allergic to fire ants. So if I get stung by... 10 15 fire ants i need to get an epi pin i need to get rushed to the hot i need something because everything just starts kind of closing up and those that know if you're highly allergic to like stings and stuff you know what it is i'm not highly allergic to yellow jackets but i think they're all kind of in the same family where one yellow jacket sting to me is probably a little bit more severe than others so right after i got you know all of them attacked I was starting to lose feeling kind of in my feet. Like it was starting to get very, very tingly. And also like my whole right arm was like kind of going numb. Um, I proceed to finish out the round because it's like, I'm not, I I don't like DNFing in middle of the rounds if I feel like I can finish. Uh, But on hole 17, you know, I was going for the forehand skip shot off the water and it came very apparent that I could not throw a forehand. The thing barely made it to the middle of the lake, right? And so I finished the round and I kind of knew right then and there, like it was only going to get worse, which it did the next morning was really bad. Um, and so I proceeded to like basically just let them know, like, I'm not going to be able to finish, which sucks because I actually... It wasn't playing terrible. Um, I had played myself into the cut line. I think I was like 64th 
and the cut was right around, what was the cut, 80, 84. So I played myself in. I was very excited to go back and play New London, one of my favorite courses, as you guys all know. Absolutely love New London. Uh, and I actually played New London very well the first round, other than I triple bogeyed hole 18. So I kind of wanted to go back out there and see what I could do without taking that blow up hole. Um, so yeah, I was very upset about having to do it. I've only ever DNF'd another time on the pro tour. And that was right after I had Lyme disease and I was taking the um, line. What's the word? Do you know the medicine for Lyme disease? Dr dr um, doxy doxycillin? Do just some sort of antibiotic, isn't it? Uh, doxycillin. Doxycillin. Yeah, it is doxycillin, which is like, if you take that stuff, Yuli, and you go out in the sun, it's like really bad. Yeah. Like they say, do not go out in the sun. And so I was on doxycillin playing DDO in the middle of the summer. And <laughs> I was like, I can't, I literally cannot finish. I was literally dying. So, um, there you have it. Oh yeah. Edwin. Hey, shout out to Edwin. Brody was four under going into hole 18 at new London day one tied for eighth. Yeah. So I was, I was having myself a decent little tournament there. Uh, but that being said, uh, the swelling, everything like that has kind of subsided. Uh, I, my, it still hurts a little bit if you like put put pressure on where they stung me. Uh, but uh, that being said, I think I should be fine moving forward. So hopefully that answers all the rumors and questions and whatever else was out there.